Hello everyone. Uh, now I am going to explain the large sample. In that large sample, test of significance for difference of means. In large samples, test of significance for difference of means. Difference of means. That means they will give you two means. A mu1 and a mu2. Remember, let x1 bar, x1 bar be the mean of a sample size n1. x2 bar be the mean of sample size n2. And from a population mean mu1, variance sigma1 square. x1 bar be the mean of a sample size n1. And from the population mean mu1 and variance sigma1 square. In the same way, let x2 bar be the mean of a sample size n2. And from the population with the mean mu2 and variance sigma2 square, sigma square. Then the test statistic. Uh, the test statistic will become if you know the sigma 1 square and sigma 2 square population variance if you know then you have to apply this formula z is equal to z is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar by under root of sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2. When we have to apply this formula, if you know sigma 1 square, sigma 2 square and the sample size is very large then only you have to apply this formula. Otherwise, if you don't know the sigma 1 square, sigma 2 square, that means population variance if you don't know are unknown, then we have to use the sample variance as sigma 1 square is equal to S1 square, sigma 2 square is equal to S2 square. Then the formula, that means the test statistic will become Z is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar by under root of S1 square by N1 plus S2 square by N2. Like this you have to take. Then set a null hypothesis. How to set a null hypothesis? I will tell you. Null hypothesis H0. Null hypothesis H0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2 always. The alternative hypothesis H1. Here three alternative hypothesis either like this, like this, like this. You can take three. Either three, any one of this one. Alternative hypothesis H1. If mu1 is not equal to mu2, it will become two-tailed test. If mu1 is greater than mu2, it will become right tail test if mu1 is less than mu2 it will become h1 will become left tail test like this any one of the alternative hypothesis you have to choose and then find the table value with the uh, alpha level of significance that means either 1% or 5% level of significance depends on the given problem sometimes in the exam in the problem itself they will ask 5% level of significance or 1% level of significance if they specify anything you take like that otherwise you take by default 5% level of significance after that make conclusion uh, by comparing calculated value and a tabular value. Tabular value with a level of significance for one tailor, two tailor, uh, left tailor, right tailor, two tailor. You have to find the table value. After that calculated value. Calculated value depends on the calculated or uh, tabular value. You can write the conclusion. Now first problem. I will read the problem. Everybody see. Uh, read the problem. I'll read the problem. Just wait. Uh, is it visible properly? Mm. Problems. In order to determine whether, I'll read the big problem. In order to determine, here a difference of mean means always remember how to identify the problem. Two means they'll give you, two SDs they'll give you, two, uh, two SDs they'll give you, two means they'll give you. Say a single mean, single mean means only one mean they'll give you. In order to determine, in order to determine whether two differently priced brands, two differently priced brands of flashlight batteries are equally effective. A consumer bureau tested 45 batteries of each brand for the length of life. Length of life. The results are given in the table below. Mean brand 1, brand 2. SD mean of brand 1 is 16.5 and uh, 16, 16 not 16 point, 165 160 mean is 165 brand 2 is 177 SD is 15 brand 2 is 19 like this is given brand 1 brand 2 mean variance like this is given determine whether these are uh, determine whether the uh, there are there is a significant difference between 
there is a significant difference between effectiveness of two brands effectiveness of two brands of batteries at 1% LOS level of significance 1% LOS level of significance now solution given that x1 bar is 165 x2 bar 177 2 means huh? 2 uh, different means n1 45 n2 also 45 s1 standard deviation or sigma 1 or s1 whatever s1 standard deviation of sample 1 is 15 s2 19 sd of the brand 2 is 19 15 19 the table is given that only we wrote now in the problem samples of standard deviations are given samples of sds are given therefore null hypothesis h0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2 mu1 is equal to mu2 and alternative hypothesis mu1 is not equal to mu2 that means two tail test test statistic is x1 bar minus x2 bar by under root of s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 uh, <coughs> x1 bar minus x2 bar 165 minus 167 165 minus 177 by under root of s1 square 15 square by 45 plus 19 square by 45 if you simplify these and these values if you simplify minus 12 by 361 you will get that is equal to minus 3.32 minus 3.32 you will get this is the calculated value now the calculated value z is equal to minus 3.32 we have got the tabular value we will find tabular value at 1% of level of significance that means tabular value z alpha is 2.58 2.58 mu1 is not equal to mu2 that's why we have to take a two tail test for two tail test at 1% 1% means 0.01 uh, level of significance if you check a uh, 2.58 you will get that means uh, mod z mod z if you take mod of minus 3.32 that means 3.32 mod means minus modulus of minus 3.32 will become 3.32 is greater than that means greater than 2.58 that means calculated 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 value is greater than table value Cal CAL means calculated value is greater than table value. Therefore, we reject uh, what is the meaning of that uh, calculated value is greater than table value means uh, reject H0. Rejecting H0. The two brands of batteries are different. Reject means uh, the uh, two brands of batteries, whatever we wrote in null hypothesis, the two brands of batteries are different in their effectiveness. Thank you.